When I have potatoes and onions at home, I always make this recipe for dinner. In today's recipe, we will use for potatoes and cut them all into thin slices to aid in cooking. Next, we will use an onion and we will also cut into thin slices the way you are visualizing. Now, just book to use later. Dump that in a pan. We will put oil and over medium heat. We will let it warm as soon as the oil heats up. We can add the potatoes and onions that we cut to prevent our ingredients from burning and for everyone to fry equally. We will stir well. Before I forget, tell me which city you are watching us so I can send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Benjamin Jones from New Orleans. I'm glad you're enjoying our recipes. In the next step, we will remove all the oil from our recipe. And we will do this by transferring the potatoes and onions to a calendar. Now let's add six eggs, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of black pepper. Using a utensil, we will beat well to mix. And then add our recipe in the same container that we put the eggs and other seasonings. After mixing all our ingredients in a frying pan, we will add olive oil to taste. And with the help of a silicone brush, we will spread well all over the surface. After spreading all the olive oil, well, we will add our recipe in this frying pan, also spreading it all over the surface so that all sides fry equally. Once this is done, we will cover the pan to speed up the cooking process of our recipe. Using a plate, we will flip our omelet to start frying. The other side the way you are visualizing. Now just transfer our omelet from the dish to the frying pan and cook again for another five minutes. After that, our omelet is ready. Now just put on a plate and serve. With few ingredients, we can make a tasty and healthy recipe. I do it every week at my house. To give a special touch and enhance the flavor, we will put parsley to taste. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. I'll see you next time. Bye.